This is French now. Ready? No, I still need to update the uh, flags. Here we go, game two. I'll be back in the background again. All right. So, interesting that we saw that stage we're picking is Battlefield. It's going to be ZSS Steve 2, which is definitely an interesting matchup. There can come in handy. Side B2 really helps break through those blocks. Okay. That's the risk with breaking that lower block, by the way, is it's just a perfect path to kind of send minecart through at low risk. Nice use of Zare, sweet uh, sour spot. Uh, yeah, it seems like we're going to be streaming winner side of top 16, Elias. So you will be waiting a little bit. Okay. Just kind of feeling each other out right now. A couple small openings for Muzan. Alright, Big Chungus unable to get the blot land. Just kind of missing his roots a little bit here. Oh, that is better, but I don't think he expected the wall bounce. Coming right back at him. Using Side B to kind of break those blocks, playing a bit more carefully around Minecart now. You can see Muzan's adaptions kind of coming into play. Side B's not going to take it yet, though. And it will now. Minecart just kind of running out of momentum. And Big Chungus got Diamond, though. Muzan just not really approaching enough on that last stock. And as a result, going to have to play against Steve with Diamond. Still playing kind of aggressively, though. Nice wait on the pop-out. Really well played from Big Chungus. You could tell Muzan trying to mix that up, but Chungus did not fall for it. And they will not. But they are missing some of these block setups. Like, they're just not landing on the blocks when they want to. It could cost them, but it's diamond, so three up tilts is enough anyway. Sour Spot Fair will not take it. ZSS's recovery is too good. Okay, no diamond pick now. That is going to leave Big Chungus without kill options, which is really rough. That or he's going to have to downgrade. And I think he has downgraded to stone. He's immediately found another diamond though. You can see Muzan really trying to pressure this crafting table. And make it as difficult as possible for Chungus to get that diamond again. Oh, can't get that tech chase set up. You have to we'll go through the block. Looking for a ledge trap now. Chungus just trying to scramble out of the corner. Can't find a way out so far. Just about rolls out and gets away, but sprints to the other corner and gets side beat off stage. Okay, 110 to 140 now. Chungus is still looking for a way to mine there, but Muzan has done a really good job of controlling the space around that crafting table and harassing Chungus enough to feel like where he can't just call it to him. Okay. Nice catch there. Still not enough though. Muzan sitting all the way at 170. Trying to get a Zare back here but can't. Down smash isn't going to take it either. This is a super clutch last hit situation. Chunk is just about living but not from that. And Muzan sitting at 171. Anything on this stock is just borrowed time now. Mash is out a bit too early. And Chungus will take that all day. Every day, sitting on diamond as well, giving himself some more space to mine. Could do with some more iron, get some. Gets the block set up that time, but he's not quick enough with it. Nice breakage of the crafting table there from Muzan. Trying to find some openings. The pick loops have come out. Sitting at 88 now and that ledge, but no pick on deck for Chungus. Gonna be hard to find that kill. Got no iron either. Really difficult to play neutral now for Chungus. 
switches to stone. He's forced to kind of downgrade almost because Muzan is just applying a little bit too much pressure. This is his opportunity. Harass him before you can get that diamond and you didn't do it. And the diamond death smash will take it. All right, it'll be interesting to see what we have next. <clears throat> That it would be, that it would be. All right, I should be all set to go. We should have VODs going up. And, uh, yeah, looks like we're all ready. Oh, How's that's everyone weird. Doing I can... Welcome to EU Bootcamp number mid midweek trust number 176. <laughs> what were you saying, Chucky? Uh, okay, the stage is PS2. Ah, Okay. What's weird is when I view the tasks from someone's perspective, it can let me, like, the buttons, yeah, like, do work. Yeah, do them for them? Yeah. Yeah. That is weird. I can, like, do stage bans for a person. You That's... could. Please don't. I, I will not. I know you trust me. I will not break. Uh, I, I would never break that trust. Good. Three, two, Good. One, All right. Game number two. Go! I guess that is useful, though, if they, like, turn on into PS2 and then don't put it in. It's very useful for players that are having issues with Smash GG. Yeah. Anyway. Here we go. Already getting the tools upgrades. Ooh. Mining off of the block, getting some iron. Yeah, good start. Ooh, finally getting some of those uh, up tilt setups. We didn't really see too much of that beforehand. It could be down to ZSS's floatiness, though. Potentially. Because people It could do also forget. be the tool upgrade. Could be. Because people do forget how floaty ZSS is. Just because she's mobile in, in, in everything else she has. Yeah. Her, her fast full speed isn't that bad either, I don't think. Just a jump. Nice. All right, nothing big out of that. We're running out of dirt, though. Yeah, just kind of chipping away. And uh, Chungus might have gold, but he's still a little bit far off diamond. And I like the way that Muzan is really starting to play around this minecart. Yeah. We've seen him slowly kind of get to grips with the matchup over time. The diamond is out. Muzan's got to do a really good job of just controlling the space around that crafting table. The Saibi comes out as it often does at kill percent, and it does beat out minecart. I did not know that. That's actually pretty fantastic. Indeed. Yeah, didn't the diamond think it was gonna be, I didn't think it would beat minecart outright like that, but here we are. Okay, so with that, uh, Muzan currently in the lead by one stock, sitting at 105%, and it's gone. Yeah, died for trying to break the crafting table and cover jump, but immediately comes back mm -hmm. in with a, a nice forward air and has no oh. solution to that pressure. Nope, absolutely I think you... not. That diamond tool was about to break shield. They had to drop. There was no choice. Yeah. I, I it, you, you can't even necessarily say roll away because the space in that situation is so small. Like, oh. normally you can just roll out, but you're stuck between blocks Muzan was, and ledge. Yeah, Muzan So you don't have there. space. All right. It was very clever knowledge of that from from Chungus to really abuse that to, to find the up tilt in the end. Muzan trying to follow along with Zed. Dash attack does yeah, have similar diamond, range, though. Now that these diamond tools are online, things are a little different, it feels like. Yeah. Oh, there goes the pickaxe, though. That's going to make killing really, really difficult. Does have another diamond, no. though. <laughs> and... No. Randy forward smash will do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, use the blocks to extend the hitbox. People don't really expect Steve to hit through blocks either. Because he no. normally puts them up for defensive reasons. So, nice mix-up. All right, so with that, Big Jungus is in the lead once again. Yeah, I just... Muzan just trying. Nice to catch find. on the block. I very much like that. Both players now on final stock, low percents. But here comes a new set of diamond tools. Those will probably last like, the entire stock. I like the beelining to breaking the crafting table. It does cost resources to get back, and it does come back automatically. So it's definitely one of those things that you just kind of have to do and think about when you've got the time to. Just for Steve to have worse starting resources. And yeah. right now, the resources that Chungus has really aren't that great. He's just got a little bit more iron now that he's using. 
Only two left, three now. You can see Muzan really trying to take advantage of it, but he's maybe being a bit too aggressive. The gold is on deck, the powered rail is on deck, <laughs> and diamond is on deck. That was a nasty combo. Yeah. Yeah, Muzan currently sitting at 120% right now. Not looking too great. Has to and... play like you can't get hit, and that was just too reckless. And Chungus will take it with the fade back. back end. Yep, winning that 2-0. All right, so with that, Chungus is going to be fighting Nexus in Winter Semis, but we will be moving on to I am not going to try to pronounce that name. Jackie, have a go at it.